So here's another lesson that you can do with your feet. You want your feet propped. Find a nice place that you can go with them. I get these bolsters from Ikea, but you can get them from different stores. They can be propped at different levels depending on your size, what's comfortable for you. But you want the hips to sort of release. And when my feet are propped, the feet tend to hang out to the side. Notice how your feet hang. Are your feet upright? That means there's a lot of muscular contractions that are happening. And this lesson would be very good for that. So what I want you to just to start to do, and again, most of lessons are done right side first or left side first, but they start on one side. And it's not that you're right-brained or left-brained, and it's allowing the system to realize how your right side is different from the left. And then the opposite side will want to learn from those changes. So you're literally just going to, just like a baby would, find your left foot. And just see how it feels. Is your ankle flexible to do this? And again, notice how I'm not immediately touching my foot. I'm just looking for it. I'm just looking for a way that your foot's going to find the other foot. It's just a curiosity. Just again what a baby would do. Baby doesn't do purposeful bringing the feet together. They just play with themselves in a sense in a way of it just being a novelty. We sort of see it as accidents, but it's purposeful accidents. They don't have an agenda, and I don't have an agenda. I'm just seeing how my foot is looking. And again, is the ankle starting to rotate more? Do I breathe in when I bring the foot over? Do I stop breathing? Do I breathe out? Notice how your body's changing. Are you noticing more activity in the pelvic region or in your hip? And then just relax. And just from relaxing, is the one foot different from the other? So now I'm going to bring the two feet together just at the tips, just for the big toe. It's together and just feeling how the feet join. Now, yes, I had to bring my left foot up to meet the right foot, but notice how the right foot is doing the activity or the exploring of what the other foot is doing. And now with just the big toe, just go down and see what it's like to feel just as you can see the ball or the lower part of my foot. I'm not necessarily on toe function. All of this really is on this one is to, to realize how the ankle relates to the feet. And then go back to the large toe. Is that easier? Do you notice that your pelvis is moving any different with the two feet? And relax. At any time you feel discomfort, pain, that you need to just relax, then just relax. This isn't about effort. It's about exploring and learning something new. Can't even begin to tell you how when your feet function at a different level, and this time I'm bringing the foot away from the other foot. Just from driving a car, or I like to do karate, when you have higher functioning feet, you can do things with more intelligence. And look at the different ways. I'm rounding the leg, I'm waving the foot, that I can bring the foot away from my other foot. And again, notice if there's more ease with your foot. Notice if there's more mobility. Um, is the chest changing? Your chest cavity is breathing changed? And relax. Again, if that's something that you want to explore more, go right at it. Now I'm going to go back and feel the other foot and just see if that got easier. And just notice from doing that the difference range that I have of exploring the left foot. I'm not striving to go up to the ankle. And what this is doing, if you're interested in child development, is this is another way of crossing midline. 
This is why it's important that babies do this kind of foot function. Notice how there's very little activity in my right foot, that my ankle and my leg are participating much more. It's not like I'm sweeping anymore. You know, it's they're, they're functioning more as one. And relax. And now I'm asking you to bring the heel up. So notice that my leg is still lying on the bolsters and I'm just bringing the heel up against maybe to just my lower calf. And again, notice that the hips change. Is this easier? And relax. And at this point, too, you should be noticing that the right side just feels different lying down at the left. And now we're going to bring the feet actually together. And notice this is where it's nice, too, to have the bolsters because they roll. And just see about bringing the feet together. Again, notice that I'm not contracting the feet or anything. It's just a nice, easy, almost looks like a butterfly. Notice, too, that your pelvis might be doing almost the same movement as the feet are doing. And just relax and just notice, do my feet hang different? Do your feet hang different? And now again, we're going to just bring the foot up and over. Notice too how it's easier for the left foot sort of to go around. So you're exploring the top of the foot as well as the side. Just again, just nice, gentle movements. And just relax. And then again, bring the heels in. And then go back out. And see if that's easier. And just notice, is it difficult for you to even know where your heels are at? And if that's the case, maybe just start at this. Just going for where the heels are. Do your toes curl? Do they contort? All of that just means that you're using muscles you really don't know what you need to use. Notice that my feet are just kind of hanging here. And speaking of, okay, so I'll bring the bolsters up a bit. My feet are just hanging. And just see it in this angle. Almost as if you were praying in a sense. You're just bringing the feet together. There shouldn't be any tight contractions in the thigh muscles. There shouldn't be your lower back might be closer to the table now or lying down wherever your position. and now go away from each other. With this you'll find your knees will sort of want to come together. And notice how I'm starting to let my feet just drop. I don't need the muscles to bring them back down. Gravity is doing that. 
and then see if this got any easier. You can do this as just as a lesson and you're done. Tomorrow you can repeat the left side. You can turn around and just everything that I said to do to the right, do to the left. And then once you've done both sides, look at the complexities. Rub the right foot up and then rub the left foot up. Are there differences? Are there similarities? You know, start making the movement more complex. If I do something like this and bring it back together, well, can you do them this way, where they both sort of go to the right and then go to the left? I mean, add to the complexities, change the movements. 